Many of us have come to rely on Google Maps to shuttle us around town, find the closest bank, gas station, or restaurant. But two Toronto Tor the Torontonians are warning the platform isn't as reliable as we might think. Volunteer moderators Sydney Eats and Richard Truce say they've found sneaky saboteurs taking advantage of the site by editing their co competition's business profile or even deleting it altogether. They say the problem is growing and businesses are turning to them for help. Joining me now is Sydney Eats, a co-moderator for Google Local Guides Toronto. Uh, this is uh, something a lot of us just never even would have thought of. T talk to me, why, you, why do you call yourselves internet police, first of all? Well, first I started off as a professional eater and I was adding like places to Google Maps about six, seven times a day because I have a hyperthyroid, so I had to continuously eat. Yeah. And as I was doing this, I approached my co-moderator and I was like, well, how can we, like, how can we produce a TV show about us eating? So then after we were adding all these businesses, and then after we, as we were adding them, we were approached by these owners. They're like, oh, how can I do this? Like, I have problems with this listing, I have problems with that. Someone's changing this and doing that. And we'll, we look into it, we fixed it, and they're like, okay, you're the internet police now. Thank you for helping us. <laughs> now, why would somebody go out there and try to sabotage a business on Google? Well, there's actually one billion active users on Google Maps. So four out of five searches lead to a purchase or a visit on Google Maps. So from that, there'll be criminal activity, fraud, or abuse to disrupt business on Google Maps. In the past year, I had half a billion views on my content on Google Maps. So there's a billion users using Google Maps. So it is a big problem. I guess what we're saying is there's so many users, they're bound to be bad apples. Correct. Uh, and so what are some of the most extreme cases you've seen? So the most, there's actually the top three we've seen. Okay. So number one will be fake hotel listings. So according to Google research, there are about 5% of fake hotel listings. So from that, there are like, that's, or actually there's 500 around one college alone. So okay. these four, they're targeting foreign students. So foreign students are looking at Google Maps and these hotel, these fake hotels go for $500 a night. So fake, like these foreign students are placing their booking to bring their family over. Their family, yeah. their family comes by. And, and there's then, no hotel. And there's no hotel. And the, the best part is they're coming to this person's, like this hotel, and they're crashing someone's couch in someone's house. You're kidding. I am. I wish I was. Oh boy. <laughs> Okay, what, what, you've, got, you've got a couple of others for us too. Yeah, so my number two is actually, um, they're fake banks. So people, they, if you're, people will hijack the bank listing and change your phone number. So you think you may be calling your bank and to find that, like when you call someone's bank, you're getting the automated, you know, enter your yes. information. Right. So then when you're calling them, someone's picking up the phone and someone's cell, you're calling someone's cell phone. You're calling someone's cell phone and then they pretend to be the bank and they ask you for all your information. Correct. You think that you're calling a trusted bank and you, you start handing out your PIN and, Really? Yeah, it's How a scary you... thing. Yeah, absolutely. And then their third one, which I'm sure you will love, are the fake members of parliament listings. There's about 10. Okay. And then even one was directed to an escort agency, which was actually a serious issue. So from that, like, if you really want to, I can show you how to become a member of Parliament. And if you, if, <laughs> if you really want to, I can show you how to become Justin Trudeau for a day oh my God. and take his calls and direct all his calls to your cell phone. Now, lastly, because this is probably the most important thing, yeah. how can a business defend themselves against something like this? Well, number one is you can register your business onto Google My Business. Number two, I've been asked to testify in front of the Ethics Committee in Ottawa. Really? Yes. And, and then, <laughs> so I submitted my brief the other day, so now I'm waiting. So if they don't get back to me, I can just create my own listing and become the <laughs> Ethics Committee. <laughs> And testify against myself. <laughs> Sydney Eats, thank you so much. And uh, good luck. This seems like a really big and daunting job. We wish you the best for this. <laughs> thank you so much for having me, Ben. <laughs>